Streamlabs best settings for low-end PC. Optimizing Streamlabs settings for a low-end PC ensures smooth streaming without lags, providing a better experience for you and your viewers. So say for example you have tried to stream in 1080p, however you have experienced a lot of lags, a lot of freezing, crashes, and so on and so forth. So what you are going to do is you downgrade that settings. Now again you try to stream in 1080p, so we're going to go ahead and try to stream different one. So I'm going to open uh, Google here, for example, and here in the Google, I'm just going to type here uh, Twitch Broadcasting Guidelines. Regardless of where you are streaming, this is kind of like a universal values for us. So just basically use this one here. It doesn't really matter. Um, it is going to be applicable still. So we're going to stream at 720p, 30 FPS, and we're going to try to follow these values here. So we're going to open our Streamlabs and then we're just going to put it here at the side. So just go ahead and open your settings. And then we're going to start with our output. So for our output, we're going to go ahead to streaming. Again, if you don't see this one, just click advanced here. So you have simple and advanced. So click this one. All right, we're going to try to go to our encoder. So make sure that you have chosen this one here. If you have Nvidia, then definitely this is going to be an option for you. If you don't have graphics card or Nvidia, you can just go ahead and click the software. But then again, I have one, so I'm going to choose the second one. All right, you can rescale the output or you can just leave it at that. In our case, we're going to rescale this one later, so it doesn't really matter as of the moment. Uh, rate control, we have CBR. That is what we're going to follow. Oops, this one here. So that's what we're going to follow and then we're going to try to our bitrate so bitrate we're going to start with 3000 if you have experienced like some problems with 3000 so just go ahead and downgrade this one to 2500 again we're going to start with 3000 as of the moment so for the keyframe interval we're going to set it to two as you can see here we have two for the preset quality we're going to leave it at quality and then for the profile we're going to leave it at high and then max B frames, we're going to leave it at 2. And the next one is we're going to go ahead to the audio. So for the audio bit rate, so you can change this one as well to 160. Um, this one here, so this is going to be for a desktop, the audio track 1. Audio track 2 is going to be for my microphone. If you have more, you can just go ahead and try to change them here. After that, we're going to go ahead and click the video. And for the base canvas, again, this is our monitor. So if you have 1080p monitor, you can just leave it at that. Or if you have 720p, you can also do that one. So in my case, I have 1080p, so I'm going to leave it at that. For the output, again, we want to stream to 720p. So 1280 by 720p, we're going to choose this one. Now, in this case, since we have already downscaled this one, so we're going to change the downscale filter. If we're going to click this one, you should be able to see here by cubic, you just go ahead and Try to buy cubic first. Don't go to the third option. That is usually for high-end PC. So again, just try to choose by cubic. If you still have experience problems with by cubic, go ahead and use by linear. All right, so we're going to try by cubic in this case. Now, common FPS. So if you're doing games, give it at 30 FPS. If you are not, so just basically like having conversation or something like that, go ahead and decrease this to 25. And yeah, you should be good to go. Just go ahead and click done in order for all of the changes to take effect. And then from this point forward, you can just go ahead and try to test your stream because now you have the best settings for what your PC is worth. And by the way, I would highly suggest to upgrade to Streamlabs Ultra to level up your streaming quality and experience. You can save up the $10 of discount right away after clicking on the link in the description box and the comment section below. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you out.